With, with one general comment, and I think that that's very important. There is no one single private sector perspective. It's very important to understand um, there's a broad range of investors, ranging from asset managers to asset owners, from private equity firms to lenders. Um, their risk appetite is uh, varies significantly, and also uh, their risk perception varies. That's what's very important to understand at the beginning. When we talk about uh, risk perception, we often um, talk about a risk perception of lending banks, um, which are the most risk averse uh, stakeholders in the overall process. Um, I believe that um, there is some risk appetite in the private sector, but generally the private sector does not like risk um, it cannot manage. That's very important. Um, so risks the private sector cannot manage are usually political risks, regulatory risks, but also, for example, off-taker risk, credit worthiness of a single off-taker, for example, utility in developing countries. Um, well, de-risking is currently on vogue, so everybody talks about the role of the public sector in de-risking. I believe, indeed, that this is a very, very Im important area. Um, if we focus for a moment on mitigation projects, for example, investments in um, renewable energy generation capacity, and we focus on established technologies, so no demonstration projects, I believe that at the private sector can already come in and can deploy capital once there is a strong regulatory framework in place. And here the private sector, the public sector comes in because the public sector can help uh, developing and emerging countries to establish exactly such a uh, stable regulatory environment and to transfer its own credit worthiness and credibility to the developing country. Get FIT was a concept developed by Deutsche Bank Climate Change Advisors, uh, addressing all the um, issues and barriers private sector investments usually face in developing countries in generation capacity investments. Um, major risks are there, again, off-taker risks, political and regulatory risks. And Get FIT tries to do um, three things. Um, Get FIT ask the international public sector to support the local public sector in creating transparency, longevity and certainty for the private sector. So international donors are asked to provide financial support to um, host governments for incremental cost of renewable energies. Um, they are asked to provide guarantees and to back the national, uh, national uh, governments and then are also they are asked to provide technical assistance. So what GetFit wants to do is to upgrade existing feed-in tariff schemes in developing countries. Um, this was a research concept in the beginning but now it has been implemented. We have chosen Uganda as a pilot country. Uganda has been um, at the forefront of um, sector unbundling. They have already implemented the feed and tariff regime in 2007. Um, and we have now agreed with um, governments of uh, Norway, UK and Germany to upgrade this feed in tariff regime and to make it more attractive for uh, private sector investments. What do we do concretely there is to um, top up the feed in tariff, so to give a little bit of maybe two US dollars and per kilowatt hour top up. Um, we provide guarantees in cooperation with the World Bank PLG. Um, and we have uh, provided technical assistance to developers, but also um, the Ugandan government. Here, for example, on standardization, uh, legal documentation, uh, power purchase agreements and uh, implementation processes. GetFit targets the realization of 125 megawatts of renewable energy capacity in medium scale projects. So projects which can be constructed within two or three years. Um, we target that all projects will be on grid in three years. I think policymakers and, and governments need to 
understand better the private sector. This also applies for the private sector, but better, better need to understand the uh, public sector. We need to have an open and unbiased dialogue between public and private sector. It's not about uh, telling governments from private sector perspective that everything is fine and we are a leader in renewable energy finance. It's about um, addressing the real barriers and understanding where the future deal breakers can be. Um, um, policymakers should listen to the private sector. Policymakers, in particular, um, should learn um, how to help the private sector um, and, and, and what, the, what the real bottlenecks are. Is it risk or is it availability of uh, well-developed projects? And the public sector, I think that's also very important, needs to understand the different sources of private sector capital. It's not one single private sector. Understanding the differences between a pension fund, a lending bank and a private equity fund, that's very important. Mm -hmm.